Okay, so you want to go and make it as an actor. So let me go and give you the best scenario possible. Let's say for you, I'm going to say tomorrow you can go to Juilliard and you're going to spend the next four years training and studying there. And I'm also going to give you the best representation that you can get. I'm going to give you everything that you need for yourself to help put yourself in the best position possible. Now I'm giving you everything. Most people don't go to Juilliard. Most people don't get the best representation, especially right off the bat, but I'm giving you everything that you need for yourself. You got the best cameras to record yourself, you got the best lights, you got the best backdrop. You have everything you need to give yourself the best possible chance. Work on your acting. You got the representation, you got the good things to film you. So if I give you all of that and you get all that training, how many years is it going to take for you to go and make it as an actor? Is it going to take one year, two years? Three years? How about 10 years? If I give you 10 years and I give you all of that, are you going to go and make it as an actor? The truth is, is that there's no guarantee for any of that. Because with acting, the thing that people don't tell you when you go to these drama schools or you go and get private coaching or anything like that, is that luck plays a huge part in this industry. A lot of people think if they just go and get training for themselves, no matter what the program is, if they go and get training, and they get representation that they're gonna go and make it as an actor. I have a lot of people who comment to me and send me comments saying, hey, I'm gonna go and move out to LA, I'm gonna change all my plans, I'm gonna move out there and start auditioning for work. Most of you, truthfully speaking, if I'm being honest, are not gonna make it. And I'm not saying that to try and crush your dreams, but I am saying that to be honest. Because if everybody tells you, hey, go out to LA, go and audition and you're gonna make it, you're gonna find that reality is gonna kick you in the butt and most people don't. Now I'm gonna give you some numbers here, I'm gonna give you some percentages, so just so you get the idea of this. So, within SAG-AFTRA, that's the union, there are 160,000 members in it. Well, Davis said that just less than 1% of those actors make $50,000 a year. You're looking at a profession where, literally, with acting, less than 1% of the people make 50 grand a year or more less than one percent less than one percent so one percent of one hundred and sixty thousand is sixteen hundred so less than sixteen hundred people make 50k a year and that's just talking about union members there are more actors not in the union than are in the union so just with the actors in the union less than sixteen hundred of them are making 50k a year now if you're going to be somebody who moves out to la or almost anywhere in the country right now, making $50,000 a year can sometimes be somewhat difficult, especially if you're in LA, especially if you're in New York. So the thing that you have to realize with acting is that it's a lot of luck that gets involved. You have to do everything for yourself to help give yourself the best chance. Yes, if you go and get great training. Yes, if you have great representation. Yes, if you have good cameras, good lighting, good background to record yourself tapes. Do you have a better chance at potentially booking something? Yeah, you have a better chance. But there's 160,000 people all auditioning, all trying to go and get a role. For Spider-Man, there was 500 different actors who applied for that role who got to audition for it. Only one actor got that role. So the thing that you have to remember for yourself is even though you want it so bad, even though you're going to get all the training that you can get, the thing that you have to remember is that it can't be guaranteed. I can't guarantee it to all of you. You go to drama school, they can't guarantee it to you. So you have to have a little bit of reality also kick in for yourself. So now, what do you do with this? Do you say, oh my God, I shouldn't pursue acting? I don't know, it depends on the person, it depends on where you are in life. Sometimes pursuing acting right now might not be good for you if you don't have a stable enough life for yourself. Maybe in three years from now, it would be better for you to try and pursue acting to some degree. But what you have to realize is that you got to give yourself the best chance possible. But by giving yourself the best chance possible, it's also knowing the reality of, hey, you may go out for 500 auditions and not book anything or not give you anything that's going to make you substantial within this industry. And you have to be OK with that. Most people don't have that reality check of realizing that you may try to be an actor. You may try an audition and you may get nothing. Most people don't realize that. And for yourself, you have to realize that that is a possibility. My whole goal and my job is just to give you all the information out there. If I just tell you, hey, 
go and get my 10 hour acting master course or hey go to a drama school or hey go and get this agent and do this and you're gonna make it that would be a lie and i can't do that to all of you because i have so many people watching this and i can't just say hey do this and you're gonna book it a lot of it is luck i can give you things to give you the best chance possible to help you to make your auditions a little bit better than the other person who sent in their audition tape to make your acting a little bit stronger than the other person who came in but at the end of the day it takes luck are you the right actor for that role does this casting director like you because you're going to have 20 different casting directors shooting all types of different projects depending on which casting director sees you and the vision that they have will depend on if they potentially hire you or consider you for a project. So at the end of the day, what you have to realize is luck plays a big part in this industry and it's all important for you to know. So I hope you guys liked this video. I hope this gave you some more information that maybe you didn't have before. If you are interested in our 10 hour acting masterclass or 2.0 version to try and give yourself a little bit of more of an edge if you can with your acting and different things, that'll be down in the description down below and also in the comment section. Don't forget to leave this emoji down in the comments if you made it all the way to the end. All right, see you later, bye-bye.